Okay everyone, we're working on the 12 volt system in, in this video. If you haven't been following along, this is a Ram 2500, it's 2021. The build for this is, I don't even know, 50 videos long. I'll put a link, I'll put links to a lot of them in the description. Anything with, that involves the 12 volt system, I'll put those at the top so you can check out the entire, it's maybe only, this one probably is the third one or the fourth one or something. Uh, but I've done a bunch of stuff. I got solar on here, I got lithium, I got a Renogy battery charger, I got a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, this video, we're going to be putting in a fuse block. Now, fuse block, it's really also a power distribution block, right? And it's also a ground distribution block. So when you say fuse block, it really does a whole lot of things for us. It's going to allow us to take one power wire, go into this, and connect a whole bunch of things to it, and one ground wire, obviously, too. Now, though, I'll show you how it comes with a nice cap on it and it comes with the fuses. I'll link to this one in the description. And it also comes with a bunch of labels, which we will not need because we are using it for something very specific. Now here, here's with the cover off. The top is all the ground connections and this is the main ground that comes from the battery. And this is the main power that comes from the battery and these are all the power connections. The cool thing is, which you probably could see, there's little LED lights here. So if this thing's got power, it's going to light up for us. That's nice. And you'll be able to see it through this cover. And this is going to cover all the connections. It looks pretty good, I'll tell you. I don't think this was that, ex that expensive. I bought it a long time ago. M maybe it was 20 bucks, 25 bucks. Uh, obviously China, but it seems okay. Well, we're going to find out because we're going to put it in right now. What do we need? Oh, okay, well, let me show you the other stuff. It comes with this nice diagram. How about that? You can see here, it's telling you where to put the power, it's telling you where to put the ground, and these are all the ground connections. And these are all the fuses that it comes with. Right. And it's got a back here with all the different sizes. Now, clearly, if you have the thing to get this, you know what size it is, but hey, <laughs> they got a free side here, so let's just put more info on that. Uh, it says, uh, what does this say? Max. There is some max information on this. This, I guess, is important. It's max a 30 amp per circuit, and they only give you a 20 amp fuse, so that's important. And it's total, total 100 amp. So max rated current of battery box is 100 amp. Meaning, yeah, okay, you, you, you're not going to go over 30, but let's say you've got six 20-amp connections, well, and they're all going at 20 amps. Well, you're going to have a fire. Okay, we got our block. This is the cover. Uh, that I mentioned they give you fuses. There's some screws. There's some labels that we can't use, but, you know, it's nice to keep those. Um, I, this wire is mine. I just made this up. This is just 10 gauge. And unfortunately I didn't have any eyelets and only I have these, I don't know, what do you call these? Forks? Spades? I don't know. But, um, it should be all right. If we have an issue, I'll have to replace it. Now this goes, oh, I already got this disassembled here. All right, that's, that's tight. I'm not worried about that. I am worried about though that I just put this, <laughs> put the, I put the positive on the negative side. All right, either way, oh, that's nice. We should be good. Unfortunately, I didn't have any shrink. I need to buy shrink tubing, a black and red kit with all different sizes. Because the one I have is this one here. And you know, it just doesn't make any sense. They should be putting in black and red in in these things. I mean, blue and green is cool, but black and red, you gotta have black and red with the same size. So, so maybe I'll just... And all right, let's get this thing in there. It's a tight spot, I'll use my phone, but uh, you should be able to see. Okay, I got you inside this box. It's nice and bright, it's painted white. You shine a, they, when you have a box like this, and you wanna paint the inside white so that when you turn on a light, it's super bright. So, so we're good to go here. You probably can see just a little bit of the inverter. This is the battery charger. Here's the lithium battery. 
we are going to be putting the fuse block right here. That I think is the best spot for it, right on this wall. And that'll allow us in the next video, you're going to see that I'm going to put in a battery monitor, which requires you to put in something called a shunt. And we're going to put that over here, but we'll talk about that in the next video. All right, so let's get this fuse block and let's get it mounted. Okay. So it's got to go, it doesn't have to, but it's nicer if it went with the, the lettering the correct way. I think we need to disconnect this. And then we'll put in this, this bottom left one. All right, now that's just two. And I would say, it's, I would say I'll just put in the other ones. I was gonna not put them in until it was all done, but it's, this is fine. All right, I got you a little bit closer. I think this power wire is gonna need to be adjusted. I made this too long. Uh, Cause we only need to go from here to there. So we need about half that. <laughs> so we'll fix that up. Ground's gonna be perfect. Let's shorten this power wire and connect it up. Okay, a lot better now. <laughs> no, that's a lot shorter. All right. We gotta be very careful we don't lose this hardware. If this thing falls, we'll never find it. Okay, two washers, a lock washer, and a nut. Now let's... Oh, what am I talking about? This is the... I didn't even need to do that. Oh, man, that does make things a lot easier. Yeah, look at that. So, there's no reason to remove all the hardware when you're using one of these forks. Fork. Fork handles. Okay. Handles for forks. You gotta be very careful you don't over tighten these things. All right, so let's, I should have been paying attention here. That's a lot better. All right. All right, now we're gonna be doing the, the, uh, the ground part. I just disconnected this battery a little bit and to be honest with you, I'm gonna actually uh, undo this now. This is like, what, the third time I've done this? But it's easy, so that's nice. Let's move this just out a little bit. It'll get us to, maybe you can see it, you can't, but there's a lot of wires on this ground side. All right, this wire is from um, the solar panel. This one is from the inverter. And you got this big one right here. That's the actual ground, right, to the bed. And this goes into the battery charger. Now this one, we don't, we're not gonna use any, well, we're not gonna connect it to the battery anymore because it's for the fridge. So we'll get this out of here. Here's the two, two wires. So I got this wire, whoa, almost too tight there. Almost, almost screwed up. Perfect. Okay. That's nice. So we're in, we're in. This just needs to be screwed down. Where, I'm not sure, maybe. there. The eyelets that I put on when I connected it, you know, for connecting it to the battery, 
a little too, huh, a little too big here. I didn't look at the see which one is the positive. Oh, for G's sake. Well, we'll have to figure that out. I guess what we can do is, is that we can just touch them to the battery. I don't exactly want to do that, but I will. So. That's it. All right, so I heard a, I heard a beep. So this is, <laughs> this is positive. So let's just make sure we know that it's positive forever we'll just, we'll just rip this thing like this kind of strange that the light is red the right the light is on right right now but there's no fuse all right well clearly that there's something that i'm missing here the fuse in does it change color maybe it changes the green uh the, the fuse that's in the actual fridge is a 15 so we'll just put another 15 on here see what happens i'm interested the light went off aha well i have to say i like that it's very simple i mean it's I mean, red and green is cool, but obviously it's more expensive. You look in here, you don't see any lights, everything's perfect. You see a red light, red is bad, done. We're set up now, we can we can expand as much as we want, as long as it's not, I'm not trying to run, um, you know, a blender. We can't, can't, can't run a, uh, can't run a induction cooktop on one of these things, but it's, it's great for little stuff for sure. You know, I was just looking at these labels that it came with. It actually does come with one that says refrigerator. I mean, it comes with a bunch of wacky ones, though. That, like, like winch. Freaking hell. What is it, like a 500 pound winch? <laughs> How are you going to have a winch freaking thing hooked up to this? But, I mean, it's got cool stuff here, like rock lights and rear lights. Um, you know, it's not bad. And it's got... Where is it? Refrigerator with a hyphen. Could have just put fridge. All right. Autopilot. What? Get out of here. Autopilot. So you, people think you put this thing in a plane? Uh, all right. I'll put it on there. Not the autopilot, the... Uh, the uh, refrigerator. Hey, look at that. That's sweet. There might be a few other ones with the lights and stuff. It does make, it does, under, underwater lights. Okay, that's looking good. Yeah, really a, a cheap, a cheap addition that's gonna help out a lot, make things easier in the future. Doesn't reduce the amount of connections to the battery. If I wanted to do that, I would have to buy another, uh, like a junction box, really crazy heavy duty one, one that can, you can connect two gauge up to. That's a lot of money. It's, I would assume one that's really safe, 150 bucks, 200 bucks. Uh, don't quote me on that, but it's probably a bunch of money. And I may have to buy one of those in the future if I want to connect the alternator to this battery. But I don't think I'm gonna have to. It's only a 100 amp battery. And I'm considering putting another 100 watts on the roof to give me 200. I, I think that would be enough. But, you know, we'll see, we'll see in the future. We, we're, we're probably going to add the extra 100 just to add it because I have the space on the roof. Might as well. Um, and, and then we'll monitor the situation. So, all right. Next video, that, uh, that Renogy battery monitor, we're going to be installing that. That's going to go in the box so that we could see it when we pull down the tailgate. Okay, everyone. Catch you on the next one. See ya.